السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Hello, my name is عبد الله الشايع. And my name is Abdul Blaj. We are students from American Creativity Academy from Chemistry class. Our teacher is Mr. Zering Zerar. And here we are required to make a presentation of how to predict molecular shapes. And we're going to do that by performing a play where I'm here being the teacher and Abdullah here. here the student. We're going to, the, the good thing about predicting molecular shapes is that you can know the molecular shape of a molecule by just knowing its compound. For all of you people watching this video, I'd like you to know that in order for you to get the full benefit out of this video, you need to know how to do a correct Lewis structure. So please, before watching this video, revise the Lewis structure so you can get the full benefit out of this video. Predicting molecular shapes. Predicting molecular shapes. How can I do it? I don't understand. What's wrong, Abdullah? I'm not understanding how to do, how to predict molecular shapes. Come on, get up, let me teach you. The first step you need to go through to predict a molecular shape is finding the steric number. Now, I know you're asking, what's the steric number? This is the steric number. May you please read to me what's the steric number? Steric number. Sum of the number of lone pairs plus bonds without counting double bond or triple bond more than once attached to the central atom of the molecule. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Now let's go to the next step. I know that I want you to know that any lone pairs of the molecule other than the ones on the central atom don't need to be mentioned in the Lewis structure. Mm -hmm. So now, CO2. We know that the Lewis structure of the CO2 is this. So count them up to me. One, two, three, four. No. Didn't you read a double bond is count as once? Also ah. a triple bond. So it's two? Yes. Now, we go along. BH3 has the steric number of three. One, two, three. So as CH4 has four. Good job, Abdullah. Now, Abdullah, that you have learned how to count a molecule's uh, steric number till steric number four, I'm now going to teach you what is the possibility for a molecular shape till steric number four. Each steric number has a possibility. For example, steric number two has only one possibility. Only one? Yes, which is linear. Yeah. Even diatomic molecules is always linear. Now, I'm going to talk about steric number three. In steric number three, you have two possibilities. Either it's going to be a trigonal player, which looks like this, which is flat. Flat? Flat. Huh. Or it's going to be belt, which looks like this. Why this here represents lone pair. Lone pairs. That's right, Abdullah. Now we're going to steric number four. Steric number four, you have three different possibilities. It's either going to be tetrahedral, which looks like this, or going to be trigonal pyramidal, which looks like this. Why this what does this represent again? Lone pair. That's correct. And the last possibility, which is this which is belt. Two lone pairs. Two lone pairs. For your information, I'm using the kernel load system. Mr. Zilling taught me to pass everything in your life. Use it. It's the best. <laughs> now, Abdullah, I'm going to show you examples that I have solved. And please be free to ask me questions while we're doing it. Okay. First example is SO2. First, we draw the Lewis structure. In the Lewis structure, we have a steric number three. It's not four. Why is it four, Abdullah? One, two, three, four. No, Abdullah. This counts oh, as double, one. Double, 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 one. Double yes, bond. Yes, yes. One, two, three. Yes, no yes. pairs equal, also equals one. Ah, yes, yes. Now, there is a primary shape for each type of molecular shape. This is a line here, a line here, and a line here. Well, no sunlight, this bubble. Yes, of course it's a bubble. There's a thing you need to know. 
if you have a long pin in the primary shape and there's a straight line, you press the line by a bubble going around the long pairs. Uh -huh. So, which has stage number three, it has one long pair, so the shape is belt. One long pair, two atoms. Uh -huh. belt. Now I'm going to solve the next question. What is this? What? Give me that phone. I swear, just seeing the time. I swear, Mr. Give me that phone. Just the phone. School policy. No phones in class. You will receive it from Mr. Muhammad. Mr. Why? Time. Class, class. Now I'm going to go to the next question. In H3. In H3, we, we draw the Lewis structure. We count the steric number. One, two, three, four. And also for step number four, we have primary shape, which is a line. A line, a wave, and a triangle. What's this? What? What's the wave and the What's... triangle? I'm gonna explain. A wave is to show that it's 3D, that it's going inside the paper. Not outside, like no, this? No, the triangle is going outside. Oh. I know you also may ask, why is it there a bubble? Yeah, why? For the wave. And the triangle, you just don't, don't put a bubble, you just write them. So, we have one long pair and three atoms. So, it's going to be... Steric number four. Which is trigonal... Hedron. Trigonal what, Mr. Now, how come it's a trigonal hedron? There is no such thing called a trigonal hedron. I mixed up, mixed up. It's a trigonal pyramidal. Now I'm going to solve H2O. In H2O, first we draw the Lewis structure. Yes. The Lewis structure is for two long pairs and two, two single lines. Two single two lines. Yes. Yes. Of course, you know the primary shape, which is this. Yes. We have two long pairs, and now again you do put a bubble. All the kinds now, right? Yes. Everything. Two long pairs and two atoms. Oh, yes. So it's going to be again. Belt. Now, did you understand these three? Yes, they are steric four, steric four, and this is steric three. Yes. Now, thank you all for watching this video. And here is my friend Abdullah, which is being playing as a student. Please don't hesitate at all to ask any questions. We are welcome to answer you at any time. I thank Mr. Zilling to give, for giving us this great opportunity and I hope in quarter three and four we do it again because it's the best way for you to understand. I enjoyed it now in quarter one and I enjoyed it more now in quarter two. Thank you, Mr. Zilling.